This is Lake Hart, one of South Australia's many salt lakes. We pass through here on our way to Clare Valley, a place famous for its vineyards and wineries. We plan to stay at Clare Valley and enjoy some wine tasting. We tried about four wineries and one brewery. We headed towards Adelaide the next day where we took a one week break from the road to van life in the city. We then started heading south from Moana Beach. So this is the first time that Sadie's been on the beach. The sand's super hard. Didn't have to let the tires down or anything. Lots of people come here with their vehicles. So that's pretty cool. So I just looked it up and we, we are on Moana Beach. Uh, this, you can drive here obviously, but there is a beach further south from here called Aldinga and you can drive on that beach as well. So there's two beaches so far that I know of on the southwest coast of Adelaide the beaches that you can drive on which is pretty cool and here's the end of it here where you cannot drive any further it's all blocked off and we enter we enter in on Moana Beach uh, you cannot turn right and go north you have to head south from here up to these boundaries I don't know if it would be mud crap Oh, what a surprise. Look at that cloud in the distance. Oh, it's raining, I guess. There it is. Raining over the ocean. Where's the rainbow? Coming, it's coming. I was thinking that earlier today, actually. I was thinking I would love to see a rainbow over the beach. Yeah. Well, we're about to see one. Hopefully, Laurie's got the key. Yeah. Oh, a bit of sand on my shoes. I hate that. All right. Oh, you naughty girl. Actually, that does look cool. Uh, we are at... What's this beach? Uh, um, Maslin, Maslin Nudist Beach. Maslin Nudist Beach. Looks really nice, but... It's like that little look at those hills. There. Oh yeah. Wow, the water looks so blue over there. As soon as the sun shines on it. Um, so we're gonna check out where we want to camp tonight. So we decided actually to come to Blanche Point because we saw it's just up the road or visible from where we just were before. So looks pretty cool. And there's actually like a viewing platform here. So I'm gonna go have a look. Nice. Another really nice spot. 
and I was just looking at Google Maps and apparently off the beach here somewhere is a um, like a dive wreck. I don't know how far out it is but I saw some photos on the maps and it looks really cool. So I think that would be cool to see tomorrow. All those seagulls. Yeah. I'll just chuck you. Go run on. Beautiful owl. Just gonna have a clean and then we're gonna have our Chinese. Oh, it's actually not even Chinese, is it? It's Thai. Because well, the Chinese, Chinese place is close. One type oh, of soup okay. is Chinese. Right. The Asian food. Um, and then we came back to Moana Beach because we thought it'd be a nice place to eat. And dinner. have dinner. Nice. Alrighty guys, we've cleaned up and Asian tonight. I've yeah, got uh, mixed vegetables, cashew and rice. Laurie's got wonton soup, right? Mm-hmm. Couple of veggie spring rolls, sweet chili sauce. We're all set with a sunset in the back. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I always joke around with Laurie and say that I'm a rice boy because I love rice and Asian food. It's like my go-to, obviously. He's and a rice boy. Yeah, I'm a rice boy. Laurie's, she's got Italian blood in her, so pasta and pizza, mm. your go-to. Definitely. Especially pizza. pizza. Mm. Yeah. Margarita. Got an epic sunset. Whoa. We enjoyed the beautiful ocean sunset and got some sleep to be ready for the next day's adventure, snorkeling the Star of Greece dive wreck. Perfect day. Hello guys, we are, it's the next day and we have just been to the dive shop. We've bought a couple of things. We both already had wetsuits and flippers and that, but um, Laurie, you bought a new mask. Yeah. New... Goggles. Goggles. Um, weight belt. Weight belt. And some socks. Some booty socks and we also got head, uh, what do you call them? Hats, I guess. Yeah. Because it's a bit colder down here at the south and I mean it isn't winter but it's not far I mean it's just coming out of winter so anyway we're gonna go for a dive today a snorkel and we're trying to see trying to find a wreck called um Star of Greece I think so yeah yeah we're gonna go snorkel along the reef and find this little shipwreck and it's an absolute perfect day it's flat as anything no wind Sunny as, not a cloud in sight, and also the water is crystal clear. So there couldn't be a better day to do this. How do I look? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Keep you nice and warm. Yeah. You gotta do like a solid dance. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's so tight. Nice. Wow, you're ready to go. <laughs> All sorted. <laughs> Alright, here we go.
that was uh, pretty interesting. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I've seen a shipwreck before, especially not one so close to the shore. It's only about literally 150 meters offshore, so it takes about three minutes to swim out. <clears throat> so that was a good experience. Um, this is Walonga Beach, I think, and the name of the shipwreck uh, is Star of Greece. And the water was colder than what I expected actually. I'm glad we bought the, the hoodie and the booties and a couple of other things to keep us warm. Our flippers also suck. They're really small, they're really cheap. I think we picked them up when we went to Bali. So they're all like really cheap. And they're just too small. Your legs get really fatigued really quickly because you've got to kick so much just to go to do so little work. And after about 10 minutes, I mean, my legs just in here are killing me right now, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We're going to finish this up now. So um, see you guys in the next episode. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and see you then. Bye. See ya. Join us next week as we head south to explore the Flurio Peninsula, where we do some snorkeling, fishing, and even see some dolphins. <laughs>